I was hoping it would be a while before I saw something that caused me to lose time and sleep making another short angry video response, but what I have just seen boggles the mind. YouTube user Pee Wee Burger Jenny McDermott has released a video rather gleefully accusing Armored Skeptic of being a pedophile and a rapist, as well as releasing his personal details. Her and Armored Skeptic have been dating since she was, drumroll, 17 years old. So, um, he's 30. Okay? So, um, I am going to go ahead and dox him right now. His name is... I'm doing that because, uh, he's a rapist. And when Hannibal was exposed as being a child molester, we all doxed him because we all decided as a community that it is absolutely okay to dox pedophiles. And in my opinion, this is pretty close to pedophilia. She justifies this by claiming that she heard that his girlfriend, user Shoe on Head, is only 17 years old. There are so many things wrong with this, I don't know where to begin. First off, there's the disturbingly joyful tone in which he delivers this. If she really thought that there was a minor being abused, any reasonable person would have taken a much more serious attitude. Second, there's the misuse of terms demonstrating her, her complete lack of understanding of the law. Even if Shoe on Head was 17, it would not be anything close to pedophilia. Pedophilia has a very specific definition describing the attraction to children who are prepubescent, around 11 years old and down. However, the point is moot, because Shuan Head is 24, not 17. Even if she was 17, the age of consent in Canada is 16. I know she looks young. Lots of people look younger than their age. When I was Shuan Head's age, some people thought I was still a teenager. That does not give you the right to blurt out libelous assumptions in public. And frankly, I am being very generous with the term assumptions, because this whole thing reeks of significant ill intentions on your part. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and you have none, either in your video nor in the description. Even if you did, would not the sensible action to take when finding out someone is allegedly abusing a minor be to, oh, I don't know, alert the authorities? But you didn't, did you? You went on and on and on in a video on YouTube. So, not only had this guy uh, been cheating on his wife, online with several women and tried to cheat on his wife with me, tried to move out to California to be with me when I wasn't interested, and um, had a girlfriend online uh, named River McKenna who then committed suicide. Enough! I do not know Armour Skeptic. I know nothing of his life outside what he posts online. But considering everything that I know is wrong with what you said and the complete lack of evidence you provide and your general unpleasantness, I'm going to discount everything you say. Now I'm forced to wonder, what would motivate you to brazenly lie about something so serious? Since you seem to think that rape accusations are funny and have even been extremely flippant about the situation, I do not think you are capable of empathy. Armored Skeptic has sent me an email stating that he will be filing a lawsuit against me for lol bull. You either made this because you have a narcissistic need for attention, any attention, or you have decided that anyone who does not share your ideology is therefore a bad person and you have rationalized that anything you do to make their life harder is acceptable. But I hate Armored Skeptic because in the comments he called me a fraud. So I hate him and I hate that all I can make is stupid atheist videos and he has no good arguments like and his videos are so fucking boring. Whatever your rationale, calling your behavior unacceptable would be an understatement, and clearly you deserve some sort of reprisal. If Shoe on Head and Armored Skeptic are listening, I would like to make a suggestion. While I do not know much about the law, and cannot say for certain what laws, if any, have been violated, especially since this involves parties from two separate nations, if there are charges that to be filed, I would offer a compromise. McDermott's behavior is unacceptable, but I believe she can serve a purpose by being used as an example. Take some advice from a page out of YouTube history, and in exchange for not filing charges against her and allowing her to remain on YouTube, have her read a specific and well-crafted apology for you two to host on your channels. 
I accept that I deliberately and repeatedly lied to cover up my wrongdoings, both in emails to Thunderfoot and in my videos. I apologize for lying to Thunderfoot and to all of those whom I have deceived. On the 15th of September, I posted a video in which I alleged that Thunderfoot had committed blackmail. I made this allegation without having taken legal advice. I now accept that I was wrong to have made this allegation, that it was and is totally without legal merit. Again, for this, I apologize to Thunderfoot. That way, you both have the satisfaction of seeing her get her just desserts, and you have an effective tool to discourage this type of behavior from others. Miss McDermott has long since blocked me from Twitter. If any of my subscribers would be so willing to share this video with her, I would appreciate it.